Hey guys, it's me, Vanessa. Hey, so if you want to stay tuned at the very end, if you're interested in my free group that's coming up next week, um, watch to the end. Um, if not, right now I'm just talking about my weight loss and weight loss surgery and everything for week, what is it? Week 10, wow, 10 weeks post-op. That's insane. Um, okay, so I don't have like a lot of good news uh, as far as my weigh-in. I weighed in at 213.6 pounds, so that's a loss of 0.4, which I consider a stall. Uh, this is my first stall that I've had. There were two other times that I have weighed in with like a one pound weight loss for two weeks in a row, and that was like the first month, I believe. So I experienced um, slow weight loss before, um, but not this small, and so, I have to admit it it sucks it really does I'm not happy about it uh, but I need to continue moving on um, and just doing what I'm doing uh, I know a lot of people they get scared uh, when you see a stall and you don't see any weight loss uh, people have this um, this mentality that they need to change something and you know, stalls will happen. This is part of the journey. This is exactly what happens when your body just is freaking out and it's saying, no, I don't want to lose anymore. So um, I'm going to continue what I'm doing. I'm going to continue uh, exercising, uh, starting with my um, Couch 5K that I do uh, three days a week. And then I also do my other workout videos. So I'm going to continue doing those. I'm going to continue eating the way I'm eating. Um, I'm shooting for, of course, 60 to 80 ounces of water each day, which I'm hitting majority 60. Uh, this past weekend though was bad. I was doing about 20 ounces for, I think Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. No, I think Sunday I got 40, but it was really low. So the beginning of the week, I was doing great. I was doing 60 ounces, easy. Um, but my goal is to always hit that 60 or above. Uh, 80 would be ideal, especially that I'm getting further out. Uh, I will be in three weeks. I'll be um, three months, I think. So I am, I'm able to drink more water. I just need to make it a priority. It's got to be done. And I can't wait until like the end of the, the day to catch up because my stomach can't hold that much. So I think the problem is, is that, you know, I will sometimes just forget to drink. And as you see, I got my water bottle right there. And that's my second one, and I'm halfway done, I think. Um, so my goal is to get in at least four of those. Yep, yep, gotta get in four. Um, okay, anything different? I am starting to get the bat wings, as you can see. Um, I'm losing a lot around my arms, uh, my chest. I've noticed I'm not as full in my chest anymore. I also am losing a lot in my back and surprisingly in my waist, which I'm very, very happy with. I wish I was still in a size smaller than an 18 jeans, but still have to wear the plus size 18. Uh, they're looser around the hips, I noticed, and the legs, uh, but around the waist they fit kind of loose, but not not like I would want to, uh, but I just gotta keep going with the, with the motions, you know? This is, like I said earlier, this is part of the journey. This is something that happens to all of us. Uh, it's not gonna happen overnight, and that's what I have to remember. Uh, this whole weight loss journey, this is going to be the slow and steady. Uh, because I wanna keep it off. I, I don't want to have any issues where I have regained. So that's why I'm making sure I eat healthy as far as my calories. I make sure that I stay definitely over a thousand. I've not gone under a thousand calories each day, which is ideal. That's what my nutritionist wanted me to do. So I'm doing that. Now, that's pretty much it as far as weight loss. Uh, keeping it very simple. Like I said, if you ever have a stall, keep doing what you're doing. Obviously, if, you, if you're not doing well and you know why you're having the stall or the gain, um, change it. But if you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing, and you're working out and you're eating right and you're getting your water in and you're still not seeing the changes, um, just push through. Understand that your body will let go of the weight when it's ready. Um, it's gonna happen, you just have to have faith in it. And you also have to de-stress about it because if you're stressed out about it, it's gonna make it worse. So just, you know, keep a level head and understand that you, you know, you'll lose the weight when you lose it. And 
Uh, definitely, if you're not checking your measurements, do that because that's where you're going to see majority of your weight loss, especially at the end of your um, your journey. So when you're getting closer to goal, you're not going to see big numbers anymore. You're mostly going to see inches. So that's very important. I do it once a month. Yep. Um, so that's it about weight loss. Now, as far as my groups, I am so sorry. I want to say um, I was supposed to have a group start this Monday for my free clean eating group. And this past weekend has been awful. I actually had exhaustion. I felt so tired. And now looking at my journals, my food journals, I saw that I wasn't drinking much water. So that could have a lot to do with it. But also I think just my body needed to rest. Uh, every single weekend I've been go, go, go. And so this past weekend, I just, I decided I needed sleep. I needed naps. And so that's exactly what I did. So I feel really refreshed and I feel good now. Uh, and I did good, a good amount of sleep last night. So I've been great today. And for the rest of this week, I'm just going to make sure that I keep up on the water and the food and all that. But to go back into, you know, what I want to talk about. <laughs> Um, so my group, I'm going to push it to next week on Monday. Look for an event page on Facebook. I will post that today. And then I will also be posting information about my next challenge group for the UV2. Uh, UV2 is a new program that just released from Beachbody and I am actually doing a challenge group for that group that's going to last four weeks. Uh, we start on Monday, this Monday coming up, uh, next week on the 29th and it's going to consist of four weeks of the program and then it's going to be um, five days a week of exercise and they're only about 30 minutes each day and then it's going to be you know get your starting weight measurements and all that and then your last um, like your after and make sure you take a photo for both uh, before and after and then what you do is you submit those and you get a free hat it's like a little baseball cap for the new program. So I'm excited to try it. I did one of the sneak peek workouts and you can see it on my page. I have it in my, my nose itches. I have it in my videos and my Facebook page and I think Instagram too. So if you're interested in seeing it, um, I can post the link below here um, so that way you guys can check it out. But I, I really liked it. It was a lot of fun. This is a group that's going to be like uh, all about fun. This is no burpees. This is no push-ups. This is nothing that's really intense. Um, this is more just having fun and dancing and moving. So if you're one that is just beginning a workout routine or has not been able to start something because you're intimidated, this is the program for you. This is the one to start with. Uh, the moves are very simple. If you can't catch on, you just move to the music and you just have fun with it. Um, just as long as you're moving, that's the most important thing. And it's a great sweat. Um, I was drenched in sweat and it's been a long time since I've had that because uh, you always have to change up your routine. And so that's what I noticed. Uh, when I did something different, that's when I noticed that I was breathing hard, of course, and then sweating a lot. So. I'm, I'm excited to share this journey with you guys and to get you in a group. Um, so contact me at cessalopez at gmail.com and I will post the email below too in the, um, in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm excited to get started to something different. And then I believe after that program, I'm going to do the Sean week. And then, I don't know, I'm in a cross between T25 or Turbo Fire? That I'm not sure yet. Um, I might do like a poll later on when it gets closer to that time frame and let you guys vote uh, for which one you want me to do. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited this summer. I'm, I'm, I'm doing great as far as my running and so um, hopefully I'll be able to do a 5K pretty soon. Very, very happy and I'm just, things are, things are good. Even though I didn't have a big loss this week, I'm still, still happy. So I'll talk to you all soon and have a great week and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.